Hello friends and welcome to a brand new video. It is your creative weird makeup artist pal Kat here to bring you a new Christmas makeup transformation. If you are new to this channel feel free to subscribe because we do videos every Monday and Friday not only doing weird makeup effects and body paintings telling spooky tales but we also do beauty makeups chit chat get ready with me's a lot of fun, spooky, and interesting things, so you could subscribe for some more. We also do an Amazon Live show every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Amazon. The link to that will be down below along with my Amazon wish list. If you care to support the makeup studio that I work in even further, and last but not least, we do have a P.O. box that you can write to. Just want to get those out of the way before we get started because you're about to see one of the weirdest makeups I've ever concocted in my brain that I discovered on the internet. I put my hair in a low braid because we're going to use a bald cap today because I found the weirdest conspiracy theory. Now don't, don't click off the video. I know conspiracy theories have a very odd term lately. It's kind of off-putting to some people depending on what it's about but this conspiracy theory is about an old Christmas tale that we grew up hearing about the Grinch and Nightmare Before Christmas. Tim Burton fans you know me I am love my Grinch and Nightmare Before Christmas. What if these two were connected? This is just a theory that I found on the internet that's getting really popularized on TikTok, on websites, even news sites. The theory is that what if, yes, the Grinch, the green guy who hates Christmas, what if he died and became Jack Skellington himself? But oh cat, that's crazy talk. That's weird. That's insane. It makes no sense. I know, hear me out, listen to the reasons why this theory could be true. There might be a little bit of evidence sprinkled between the two stories. Well, the Grinch accidentally being dropped off at Whoville, Christmas Town, right? Instead of Halloween Town, the real reason why he isn't like anyone else in Whoville. You know, he's definitely, his looks even, are more spooky of demeanor. They're not like sparkly and bright and bubbly. His features itself isn't like the other who's down in Whoville. What if he was meant to go to Halloween Town, but Christmas Town? Whoville? It kind of makes sense. And when the Grinch in his story finally accepts Christmas into his heart, and becomes happy, his heart starts growing two sizes. And no, I am not naked, I do have this on. But what if after the Grinch dies, he is transported to Halloween Town after his death? And this Christmas Town that he finally brought into his heart is just a past memory. However, because he experienced Christmas in his past life, that might be explaining why Jack Skellington is so obsessed with Christmas in Christmas Town. If you still don't believe this theory, hear me out. The Grinch has a dog companion, right? Named Max. Jack Skellington has a dog companion, right? It kind of makes sense to me. These are just theories, but we're doing a makeup today based on these theories. I'm going to be turning into Jack Skellington fading away from the Grinch. I have Grinch beard hair. You know me, if any chance I get to make a beard on my face, I'm gonna do it. I love making beards, don't know why. You know what the YouTubers and influencers don't tell you about while they film their YouTube videos? The coldness you get from putting on paints in the winter time, or is it still fall? And on top of it, you're either one or the other, or you get really hot boob sweat. We're gonna cover the eyebrows like normal with glue sticks, disposable wands. These are so useful. I get them in a huge pack from Amazon or if you don't wanna give your money to Amazon, Sally Beauty Supplies and places like that have these. And just pat it dry with some powder. 
Now this is optional, but I'm gonna get some Bondo to help some of the edges of my bald cap because I have a super cheap bald cap that's way too thick on. I would suggest using plastic bald caps because you can melt the ed edges of them with acetone that you get from any drugstore. But this is a liquid latex or yes, liquid latex bald cap that's way too thick. That's not my favorite. These used to work really well for me and this brand recently just makes them way too thick and annoying. And I'm not gonna out the brand on YouTube. But this is a paste of Prosade cream that I'm using for the edges. Now, like I always say, you can do as many uh, layers of this on your brows as you want. I do about four for my brow hair thickness. Just keep doing this and waiting for each layer to dry. So now that you smell like rubber bands and band-aids with all this liquid latex and bald cap on, we are gonna start doing the outline of Jack Skellington, what his skull would look like, right? Because he's unique, he's not like a regular skull. He has, sure it goes down to this orbital bone, but it goes higher, he has bigger eyes. Eye sockets, I should say. Cause he has no eyes, he's dead. It's so hard to do these makeups that are like originally cartoons because you have to get the proportions correct or else it's gonna look very weird. And at first these makeups look easy, but they're not. They're very difficult because of proportions. And right where Jack Skellington's nose bone nostrils are, it's the perfect place to line up if you looked at the skull of the Grinch because his nostrils and nose is so high, just like Jack Skellington's. And now it's really making me wonder. The only thing he's missing is like a chin. Jack Skellington that is. I'm just gonna do the usual kind of skull features of the teeth in the mouth part. Luckily I was a traditional sketch artist and painter before this. I was specialized in pencil drawing, sketching, portraits, and watercolors before I became a painter. I'm gonna give them a little butt chin type area. Again, just doing the usual skull. look. this eye looks a little bit lower, doesn't it? I'll do it higher. If you do a little mistake, just get a baby wipe. All right, I'm gonna start off with some aqua paints just to start with the bald cap first. And this is where the makeup gets really cold because it's cold in the house and paints could be cold feeling on the body and loud because when you put paint on your ear with a bald cap, it's very loud. Now, as you can see, I'm leaving this bare because we're gonna paint it black because his head is kind of shortened. It's not like perfectly oval like a human head is. Now I'm gonna switch on over to white cream paint for the rest of the face while this dries. I'm just covering those teeth that we drew just so I know where the placement's gonna be and then we're gonna do the black detail later. But oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like time is flying by. This year's almost over. For some reason, December, it doesn't even feel real to me. I don't know if it's the shock of the weather change. We go from like the high being 55 one day to it being 83 the next day here in Texas and it, my mind is just blown at that. I just feel lost lately too. I don't know what it is like. I'm trying to think of like when in life, now that I'm in my 30s, when is it gonna be like, oh, I feel like I'm an adult. I feel like I'm just like flying by the seat of my pants. Like I don't know everything. Like is there a point where you don't feel like you have to call your mom for everything? And then I'm in my early 30s and I feel like there's some instances where I'm like, want to call my mom and ask for advice. But even when I was a kid growing up, I'm always scared to even ask them for advice now because as a kid, I would be like, oh, how do I solve this problem? What's this? And they'd be like, we were that first generation to have internet. So my parents would be like, oh, you could just Google it. And that was their answer for everything. Or like, you know more than me was their answer as well. So it wasn't much help. And even with like adult stuff, they have answers like that now. So it's like, I don't know, it just feels weird. Like I feel like I'm just always gonna be lost. Maybe that's just me. Does anyone else have that with family? Like sometimes I feel like I, growing up I had to watch them. But then if I like said, hey, this might not be right. Ooh, it did not go well. 
You know when your parents are excited that you're gonna get your license not because you're growing up because like maybe you could drive them be the driver that's not drinking. I'm not slamming my parents. I just like feel so weird growing up. I feel like a crazy person right now looking at myself. <laughs> I feel like a ping pong ball with a jawbone. Now for black cream paint. I'm only going to do this part in black cream paint and this and the neck and stuff all in aqua. The reason why I'm using black cream paint here is that it'll blend better with the jaw and I like putting aqua paints on my eyes because they tend to dry without creasing as much in my opinion. Let's do the little nose holes here and then the jaw, bone, cheekbone area. We want the blackest parts being the pith of where the teeth fade out into. I haven't done a skull makeup look in so long. I think the last one was the tattooed actor with the skull who sadly passed away. Fun fact, my skull makeup, even before I went to makeup school, was what got me in. I had to be interviewed for my portfolio and that was the one they liked the most. I did like a hand, even the bones on the hand. Painted that. Just getting some matte black eyeshadow from my Beetlejuice palette to do some of the detail of the shadows on the skull. Like I said before, skulls are super hard, especially if you're first starting out in makeup. So you really wanna look at reference pictures of skulls to be able to do them and practice a lot. Jack has some shadow here around his orbital bones as well. And we're just gonna get some more black aqua paint to do these nose holes and the eye holes. If you want really good black and white aqua paints that have a little bit more waxy consistency to them, there's this one brand, I'll put it here, that I used to buy for makeup school. I still have some as well. But the black, and especially for line work on body painting pieces and stuff like this is so good. Wolf FX, that was the body paint I was talking about. That has a little bit of wax in it. It's good for line work. Gosh, this is like drawing an art piece on a 3D object, which that's kind of what it is, but it's so hard. I'm gonna put like dash marks here, like cracks almost in the lines in the skull for Jack Skellington. Representation. Black aqua paint with a big foundation brush up here just to make it coherent with the rest of the look. In case I bend over and people are like, oh no. I hate Morphe brushes. Look at what happened. Gosh. That's a throwaway. It just went on the floor. Great. Wish me luck, friends, because this is coming to the wire of doing this makeup. I literally only have two more hours to do it, so it better be done. I'm only two hours in. Doing kind of a thin neck with some bone structure. Nothing crazy. It's a little similar to Jack Skellington, but you know him. It's just a long, thin neck. And we gotta do his brooch and stuff. And his outfit, if I could have a female version of Jack Skellington's outfit, I swear to God, my life will be happy and complete. So I'm gonna do color block again. There's a little bat ear thing here. And then the, oh, I should do the white first. Oops, okay, let's do white. Wait for this to dry. You guys, I'm so excited to film my monthly favorite still because there's so many good things coming out on Christmas. But I know not many people care to watch it but I love filming monthly favorites and I love watching other people, so I'm gonna do it anyways. I think I mentioned this before in a video, but whatever. Gotta get in between those neck bones. Is it weird that I like to see my neck fat jiggle with the hair dryer while I paint and then dry? Do a little bit of shadow on the sides as well. A little bit of gray too with the big powder puff. I mean brush. It's so weird to top with this, huh? Dang it, I'm dropping every brush. And we're gonna do a beard of green. It's gonna look weird. But that's the point, right? Mixing and matching with these makeups. Oh, that's too watery. Shoot. This is what happens with body paints if you mess up. Is the Pumpkin King gonna turn into the Grinch of Whoville? We'll see. Five hours later. Those body painting artists that say that these take like five of their entire lives are absolutely correct. Maybe we're, um, body painter makeup artists. I think body painters are cats because they had wasted so many lives doing this. It's insane how much time this takes. And then I'm wondering how do people do this on set? I guess body paintings isn't really a set thing. It's more of like cosplay. Let's go to Comic Con, stuff like that. Cause on sets, we don't have five entire lives to do this that time. Cause time is money on sets. This better be good because I 
literally am using up it's taking an entire day to do this guys i know it looks like 10 15 20 minutes here but no 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 ma'am it's so much time and effort i'm not complaining though look at this oh Dear Baby Kina, my puppy, who's stuck at training camp right now, um, I hope mom could finish this and get to you in time. So how is it as an adult, like, we love a routine, we love circadian rhythm, I just learned what that is, when you wake up with the sun and your brain starts wanting to go to sleep when the sun's going down, like, as a child, that gave me so much depression and anxiety. But as an adult, I'm like, yes, this makes me happy to like have a routine. Probably because my routine doesn't involve going to school. School was absolute hell on earth growing up. But now that you know how much school costs when you're an adult, uh -huh, it's totally different. Right, right. I feel like I'm in another planet right now. Time's going by fast. I'm painting the same makeup for I think five hours. This is gonna take, oh well, it's worth it. Y'all are worth it. Put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. I've been having early 2000s songs stuck in my head and singing them loudly on the couch late at night to my boyfriend trying to seduce him with my knowledge of NSYNC songs and Britney Spears songs and Gwen Stefani No Doubt songs and he doesn't appreciate it as much as I thought he would. I mean, I find that as a great quality in a future wife, but apparently... He doesn't, isn't entertained. He doesn't mind it, but he's not entertained as I thought he would be. It makes me sad. Bro, this better come out or I'm gonna beat myself up. I'm so freaking hungry. This better come out or I'll beat myself up. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna finish this because all I have to do is finish this chest piece and put on a green beard at least and we will be done, okay? And just like that, we have turned into our version of what if Jack Skellington was actually the Grinch. What if the Grinch passed away, turned into Jack? The Nightmare Before Christmas is definitely one of my all-time favorite Tim Burton films, other than Edward Scissorhands, and The Grinch is amazing as well. So to combine these was such a dream for me. I hope I did it justice in my own twisted version of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was such an intense makeup, but it was so much fun, so rewarding. This definitely took me four hours to make, but well worth it. Leave a comment down below on what other videos you would love to see from me on this channel. You can follow me on TikTok, my Amazon live shows. Links will be down below. We have an Amazon wish list as well and a P.O. box. Ugh, to take this off. This was actually yarn that looks exactly like crepe wool that I got on Amazon. I was so lucky and it's the perfect Grinchy tone. I'll definitely put the link to that yarn and all the products I used in this video down in the description box below. There are so many makeup brushes I have to wash. This was so crazy but so much fun. I can't believe I'm taking it off now. Four hours of... I almost lost my contact in my eye just now. Four hours of hard work, gone. I did put Skin Saver lotion down so this won't hurt as bad. And I did shave my face first before doing this bald cap. Oh, that feels so much better. I'm gonna take my contact lenses out because they're popping out already. Weird, I think I got makeup on it, that's why. If you guys ever want a good idea for contact lenses, I mean affordable prices, um, check out Costco if you have a Costco membership. I, honestly, it's the best price for contact lenses. And if you want effects contact lenses, definitely check out PeakyParadise.com. Don't forget microfiber makeup remover pads and wipes. The Makeup Eraser brand makes great ones. This one is by Super Sponge. It's good too. And you just add water and it just comes off. Amazing. But I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you had fun watching. Thank you again so much for supporting. Again, Monday and Friday videos are here and I will see you then. Love y'all. Bye.